Hello everybody, uh, this is Bob Nudd live too. I had, a, I had a little go earlier on but I thought and I'm out working today. I never stop working do I? Just waiting for one or two people to come on. Oh we've already got a load of people on and I'll, I'll um, let's get away from me. Hi Cameron, hi Chris. It's just reverse. Danny, hi Danny. Thanks for all that info you sent me, Danny. That was great. I recorded the um, piece yesterday. Hi Phil. <laughs> Chris is saying hi Bob again because I, I went live earlier and then we had, a, we had a little bit of a problem so I switched off. Let me show you where I am. Right. I'm here today at Decoy Lakes, and as I said, Bobby's working today, and I'm out with Richard King. This was a present from his wife, Joanne, and daughter, Olivia. A Christmas present, so a little bit late, but never mind. Fancy having me for a Christmas present. And there you are, look. Richard's into a big fish now. We've been catching, we've had, it's not been brilliant today, but it's been good. He's already had one big barbel of six pound and some nice carp, but it, but it was freezing cold this morning. He's into a fish now. And his friend Pete's here, there's Pete. And Pete was catching, but he's gone a little bit quiet now. He started off well and well, we had to stop him. We couldn't let him, it's not his present, is it? So we couldn't let him win today. And then a, a few, white clouds scudding across the sky but we've got some sun and this is the this is the best day we've had this week let's see so john mark hi mark mm. stefan junior chris davis we know is watching i'm just watching if he's still got this fish on i don't know what it is so let me tell you where i am while, while we're looking at the fish. I wouldn't get hold of your landing net yet by the looks of it. Oh, you're feeding, go on. Yeah, he's good, he's feeding one. So today, I'm gonna whiz back to me for a sec. Today, and a little bit of blue sky behind. I'm at, um, I love to come here. This is Decoy Lakes. It's not so far from where I live in Cambridgeshire. Whittlesea in Cambridgeshire, this one. And this is one of the strip lakes. Uh, this one is called Elm and, and my favourite one because there's some big barbel, big carp, a bit of everything. And and it's lovely to start a video. Oh, we've already got a load of people on. It's great. It's lovely to start a video when, when you're on a fish, even when I'm making a video. Just top that one. Just topped and come, come to the surface. So we're fishing. This time of the year, these fish are fed on pellets. The big, if you want to catch big fish, so we're just feed, fishing a banded pellet, six mil banded pellet on the bottom, just over depth, and, and loose feeding four mils. Just all the time, a little bit of noise just to get the fish there. It's a match over on the other lake. There's a load of anglers over there. Let me show you. Yeah. Let me look. Let's reverse it round and I'll show you. Beautiful day, birds are singing, sun is shining. This is the best day we've had this week. <laughs> and, and Richard's still into this fish. It's not come in yet. There's his elastic. I haven't seen the fish, so there. Yeah. This is this this is a, a typical Bob Nudd day. Do you think it's a barbel? Oh, he's seen it, he thinks it's a barbel. This is a typical Bob Nudd fishing day. Oh yeah, just on the top. Nice big barbel. Ooh. He's just going to get it in. We won't let him get it in the net. Any signs yet, Pete? No, a bit quiet. But they've, they've both done well so far. Yeah. Oh. I just heard, I just heard a crack and, and that's the, that's the fish gone. <laughs> yeah, he's lost it. <laughs> Come back to me. He just lost it right at the net. That's a shame. And that was a, that was probably a five pounder. But he's already had a five pounder anyway, so that's good. Sean's watching. Daniel's watching. 
lovely. I love this live feed, people from all over. And so we're fishing 0.4 of a gram float today. Not too heavy, but it's probably almost two metres of water, six foot. Not, not, not quite two metres, but I'm guessing nearly right in the, right in the margins. Let's see if we can hook another one. It was freezing cold, so it was so so it's a slow, a slowish start. Although he's already done well, I could reverse that. <laughs> Neil saying hello, Bobby loves these feeds. I love them too. I love doing them. Yeah, you can see me working. I'm not fishing today. I'm just working. You're just feeding. Just feeding down, only about a meter out from the bank, and just feeding those hard pellets, just to make a bit of noise, and a, and a reasonable amount. <laughs> Danny's saying, "Unlucky, mate, get back in there. We will catch it. We'll get all these. I'll come back to me for a sec. All these sort of venues, they get better. You know, the last hour in particular is always really good." Sometimes it takes a little while for the fish to switch on. And the barbel, when you're feeding these these pellets, there's there's lots of F1s that are taking the bait as it's dropping through the water. So it, really, you think you're feeding a lot, but you're not. There's hardly anything getting down, and the barbel is sitting there waiting down on the bottom. Of course, they're not getting any food, and as soon as your bait's down there, that's, that's the only one. So once they start to feed, should barbel be in commercial waters? I don't know. My my friend had a little bit of a go at me the other day, Billy. He said, and he's probably right, they probably shouldn't really be in still waters, but they seem to survive so well. They seem to, I don't know. They just, they, they seem, they look in lovely condition. Beautiful condition. We've got lots of people watching, Carl. Yeah, look at that lovely, this is the best day we've had for ages. We've had them horrible northeasterly winds. And it's just been non-stop for two weeks, really. And today, the wind's just dropped a little bit. Sun's come out, so it's quite pleasant. <laughs> Hi, Sir Bob, always in great physical shape. I see somebody from Italy, which is fabulous. And uh, anybody who's watching anywhere else in the world. This is East Anglia, UK, quite close to where Bobby lives, where I live. And we're just, we're just fishing for, for carp and barbel today on a hard pellet. Hard pellet, just laying on the bottom about probably five centimetres on the bottom, two or three inches. And then trying to attract the fish. And when you come to these commercial waters, it's only the noise of the pellets going in. It's only noise that attract the fish. They don't come flying towards you just because we're sitting here. You have to just keep feeding. Hi, Wayne. Ray's watching. Ray Paisley's watching, which is good. Let's go back and we'll have a... It's just lovely to chat. See, all over the world. Yeah, nice blue sky. As I say, this is the first day we've had when it's been reasonable. So there's Richard. He's feeding. He's fishing quite well. And he'll be able to watch this tonight. He'll be able to watch himself lose that lovely big barbel that he lost. Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> we're just feeding down the edge. And it's, even though we're on a commercial water, you still got to work at the feeding, getting the fish. Feed nice and tight to your float. Keep the bait, just a little bit of noise going in. I can hear it and the fish can hear that those pellets going in from oh, probably 20 or 30 metres away. So that's, we're just going to see if, get back on the, so there's the lake. This is Elm, Elm Lake, decoy lakes, but this is one of the, one of the strip lakes. Let me just go back. One of the strip lakes called Elm. They, they were dug out years ago, but they were dug exactly the same depth. It's the same depth. Just so a big fish swirl then, right by the float. It's the same depth at one metre out, all the way across, exactly the same depth. So the most natural place for the fish to be is is on that, that crease line. That's what we're looking at now. <laughs> Mr. Pike. 
But the main thing is with this sort of fishing is really you have to watch what you're striking at. In fact, you don't strike. You just, if with barbel they hook themselves because we're on a banded pellet, hairy banded pellet. So they suck the pellet in. They feel the hook, try to blow it out. And he's good, he resisted that. There's loads of movement on the float. But you just have to resist that. You don't strike. And, and, and in fact, you don't strike at all with bandage. You just, a little bit of a lift. That's all you do, which is enough. I'm just waiting to see if he, there's loads of signs now that there's fish there. And he just lost that big barbel. There's fish swirling everywhere as well. I think that's gonna go any minute. It's lovely. Just lovely to be out. Uh, what pellets? Nice fishing. What pellets? Uh, what, um, what pellets am I, am, am I on? Oh, I'm on. I've got some Vandenine six mils. We've got on the hook, feeding, and we're feeding as well with four mils. Just smaller pellets. Ducks love to be out there watching, but. It's normally, normally there's more action, but it's just, as I say, it was freezing cold. It's, oh, it's gone midday now, so it's it really, really starting to warm up. Let's come back. There, let's come back to me. And <laughs> loads, there's loads of people. I just love this, love this feed. I love this live feed. There's fish swirling right by as, as Richard's feeding, I can see him swirling near the top. Just feed again, Richard, just see, if it, see if anybody can see that. Just as he's feeding, but there'll be F1s, I think. Just as he's feeding, there's little swirls and eddies. Can't really see them. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe that they would be coming up in the water, but they are. And his floats just dip down. <laughs> but just a little lift into it to see if he can catch the fish. Come back to me, I'll chat to you. Look at that lovely blue sky. So, so far we've had uh, four or five nice carp, a really big barbel, about six pounds, just lost a good barbel. So it's, a, it's, it, it's good fishing, but not as good as normal because of that hard frost, but it's still, still gonna catch fish and there's loads of loads of bubbles coming up where the where the fish actually take the pellets in and then they blow air through the gills they're not always on the bottom when you see those bubbles and i can see this so we can see there's lots of fish there now okay i think we'll pete's not had anything so i think i'll just say thank you for watching this live feed and hey what about if it had been me fishing and lost one? You'd have all been laughing when you weren't me fishing. All I'm doing today is holding the camera. It's uh, Richard that lost the fish, but he's caught plenty more. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this live feed. Let's just say goodbye. You, there's, there's Richard. Yeah, he's saying thank you, Joanne, and, and, and his daughter, Olivia. And there's Pete, who's really, he's only just come back into fishing now, so. But he's, he's, he's done well so far. It's good. Okay, bye everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm going offline now and I'll save, I'll save the video. Thanks, bye.